Hi, this is Hi Bob Poor Bob, and we're about to play some Ultimate General Civil War. Hello, and welcome back. Today we are going to be playing the Battle of Stone River. So, I have lied to you. I'm extremely sorry for this. I have already played this first little bit a couple times, and I have really struggled with it. I said that I would record anything and report it out. I just could not do that. I I couldn't. I really was struggling to even get off the ground in this battle. I only had two snipers. And out of the three times I played it, every single time I lost both snipers. Not just like part of them. Pretty much the entire unit was destroyed before the first part of this battle was up. The reason for that is cavalry. The cavalry have really been making it difficult for me right now. So the first change I made was I pulled the last... I had a uh, unit of ordnance rifles to tank hits from their artillery so that my artillery doesn't get hit. Turns out, you don't need it. As far as I can tell. Because they don't ever see these guys. I have enough infantrymen and I move them around and do things. These guys are fine. I also had two 24-pounders here. So, so playing that through, it went pretty well until they got a hold of my, I mean, literally all seven units of cavalry rushed my two snipers. And I was like, well, I guess that's game over for them. They just get in the melee and one of them was down to a hundred men and still had three units rushing down on them. The other one was down to about 150 and I was like, I'm done, I'm done with this. I can't, I can't even compete with that many cavalry coming down on you. So I pulled the two 24 pounders and I put in my two backup snipers and we'll see what happens. I have no idea whether or not this will work at all, but the two 24 pound howitzers were not doing good work yet at that point in the battle and they got pulled. So they're, they're pulled. I am only using uh, three out of my five 24 pound howitzers. Mostly what I have is now just 10 pound ordnance rifles and then a bunch of infantry and these four snipers and two 20 pound parrots. 20 pound parrots are just too good to not use. Way too good. And I left these two snipers completely out of the map the first time, and I think that having them will be a huge boon to me. The only thing I can't decide is if I should break them all down and average them all out, and I think I should, so we can get all uh, three star units. One second here. So I didn't realize this. But if I just make them 250 and 257, I can actually make three units of snipers with scopes. Ooh. And then one unit of snipers with regular Whitworths. So, yeah. Hopefully I won't lose too many men this time. And I can up them to almost 300 after the next battle. That'll be pretty cool. I think that that is basically the most powerful way to go right now. I could change out some things and make it more likely for me to get a another uh, lieutenant general or even keep leveling up some of my lieutenant generals. If I put this lieutenant general in charge of like there, 
then I could definitely put this lieutenant general somewhere to get experience, like 20 pound parrot or something, because 20 pound parrot will probably do pretty good. And it's got some stats to gain, at least firearms and efficiency it'll gain. And this guy, I mean, I could probably find somebody for that guy, I guess. So we go over here and we just take like, that guy's pretty good. Okay, take him, put him here. Is he guys still good on efficiency? Yeah. Then I can put him in charge of this one. I'm hoping for one more lieutenant general, but I could always use a few more than that. I just, I have a hard time not picking 10% extra experience, infantry, and defender. I know that some of the other tier three ones can be okay, but Defender is just so good. Cover is so good in my mind. It's hard for me to pick 5% speed or whatever. I just feel like it's not really worth it. And the infantry one is just so much better than the others because all of my army is infantry most of the time. I mean, I could maybe make one of these infantry and one of them artillery. But I don't even have another lieutenant general, general that doesn't have his perks picked yet, so doesn't really matter at this point. So I've got all my supply. I've got no extra money so that it doesn't get eaten up if we end up going to day two. They've got less effective weapons. And I've spent almost 10 minutes before the start of a battle. Oh, I don't know if I talked about this, but I bought the men here. And that's how I had all those extra men before this battle. So it's almost 10,000 men that I don't have room to put in this battle. Or more than that. That looks like that would be 10,000 men. And that's... 13,000 men. Let's see. If we select the last core, put them in, 13,760 men that I am not going to be able to use in this battle. Make sure that that's the junk core. It is. Only three infantry units. 14 infantry, 13 infantry, 12 infantry, four skirmishers, two artillery, seven artillery, six artillery, and two horses. The reason for the horses, I'm not sure about. I don't know if there'll be any help or not, but they might be able to do some shenanigans or something like, once we break this guy, they might be able to run around here and do something over here. I don't know. They usually have men back here, but if we can move pretty fast, maybe we can do something. And once we break this guy, oftentimes he starts falling back this way. With the two cav, we might be able to chase him down easier and get a capture on him instead of having him get away because it's so hard with infantry to run down infantry without having an anvil to push him back up against so we're taking in 10,000 uh, 106,000 basically we are missing 13,000 men so that brings our total to about almost it's really close to uh 120,000 men that we have so we're looking really good on men now uh, that another 3,600 men from buying it and uh, without any further ado we're about to get this party started sorry for the long intro basically um, takes time to do it right I will pause it and I will be back once I have my men all spread out here okay and I pretty much have my army set up now so let's get going. Got these guys all down there and 
all these guys out here. That will be a good shot right off the bat. This guy should move forward probably and go ahead and get a shot, at least a little bit of one himself. Split off those skirmishers. Go ahead and get this guy over there, over here, and here. And then for these guys. Okay. We'll just have to keep moving them on around there along with these guys after them wait it's every other one every other one goes every other way okay okay I'm gonna move these guys and I'll be back okay and we're done with that Look at that, that's pretty straight lines. Going right on around there. Should be really good. Go ahead, that guy in the front run for just a second. Trying to get him separated out. Another cannon there. Hopefully we can keep them in range for a second there. Nope, gonna have to move because of that guy. Yep, keep moving back. Too much. Okay, let's take a look back down here, just make sure everybody's going okay. Go ahead and have him run for a second more. Just trying to get him separated out from that next guy. These guys look like they're lined up real nice, but obviously they're not gonna be far enough apart, but they just look nicely lined up there. Make sure that we don't take any shots over here. Okay. Move him there and this guy there. Okay. I think I want to move this guy like over just a little bit. Will that make him go? Yeah, he's gonna go to horse mode. That's fine. Didn't really want him to go to horse mode, but it won't hurt anything. Okay. That's a pretty good size force there. Going this way. It's a little odd, but we'll make it work. Probably. Okay, so then these guys are coming over into the forest here. They just went around a little bit of a long way just because it can be kind of dangerous to uh, move too close to the trees up front here. Yeah, I keep wobbling. A little bit more than I would like here. Okay, let's... There we go. Let's try not to get them too close though. Okay. That guy's starting to spread out. You might wanna get up to something here, maybe. Okay, those guys are there. Maybe we go ahead and Got somebody charging somewhere. I don't know where though. Wow, they really got stacked up there. Let's go ahead and have this guy. He can march a little bit higher, maybe. Maybe we can get away with that. We'll see. On, separate out there. Wow. Every time they move up just a little bit, the other guy gets up on them further. OK. 
Okay. I mean... They look like they're falling back. They need to be firing over there. Okay, fall back just a little bit there. No reason to be outside of the forest, I don't think. That guy's still got... That guy's only got 61% cover there. That's not very good. I don't know what's appearing there. Nothing too crazy. So it does look like being here is a good idea because it makes them visible. So let's stick with this. Oh, holy mother of... Well, I did not expect that, I must admit. I never would have thought that they would do this. Holy moly. And I don't even know if they've got men there. They might not even have men here. Wow. They really move forward. I really need this guy over here. Like now run I've got nobody else to support him if they decide to get heavy on him there okay let's just do this now okay Just move straight along there. It should be fine. And then there. It's too bad I can't wait for a bit. Yeah, it'll touch if I'm not careful. Okay. That is a little problematic. That is a lot of men moving in there. That is a lot. That is a big surprise to me. I did not expect that many men. That is, that is overwhelming numbers moving forward. <laughs> It would be amazing if right now I could take advantage of it because they can't have like anybody in here basically at this point. That is too many units to have anybody in here. I would have to count up. One second, I will be right back. I actually have pictures. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight units of infantry along the north edge and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, along the south edge. Eight, actually, because of this one. Um, so we can tell that this one right here, this 89th Illinois, 32nd, 39th, is actually this unit right here that you can just barely see on the screen there. So the second unit furthest over is out in the open over here. So most likely, they don't have hardly anything in the tree line anymore. Like, it's not 100% guaranteed, but it seems pretty likely. Come on, work. Sorry. There we go. So if this unit was the second to last unit over here, whenever you first start, most likely everybody is here, basically. We need to actually make room for this other unit to get in here. 
preferably at a run. We do want to start firing on them a little bit at least. Okay, from like 100% cover, yeah. That's where we wanna be. He's in 100% cover. Okay, let's go ahead and get the skirmishers moving separately. We could start marching out here, but I don't think that's what we want to do. I think we want to just start marching this way. Just make sure that nobody is there. I, I don't know. There's a chance that somebody might be in there. But for right now, we need to get a move on. up this direction because if we can get them surrounded now if we can get into this tree line over here right now before they have a chance to rethink about that we'll be in a great spot here and if we can't then we'll be in trouble because they've got a lot of men in here we, we really want to take advantage of this Oh, they've got one unit back. They held one unit back. It looks like here. At least. At least one unit back. Which should be fine. Hopefully we can get in to the trees there. Had a run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got into the trees mostly. 75% cover. Need to move back there. Oh my goodness, don't, 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 don't. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. That was way too close. Okay, so they are not as far pushed up as I thought they were, but they are really far pushed up. I've never seen them go this far, to be honest. That is as far as I've ever seen them go. We need to get them some flank shots here. That guy's seen. Mm. Not perfect, but it's still going all right here, I think. I think we should be able to... Okay, good. We got them to charge, which is perfect. We want them to charge, and then we just break off skirmishers and they should just stop. That'll be amazing. Yep, right in front of the tree line, too. Let's go ahead and hold off on that for a second there. Let these guys get in place before we... I am a little bit worried about that guy, but that guy's walking right into it, so that should be fine. Okay, these two guys are still hitting... Artillery out in the open. That guy should make pretty good work at that guy. Got two snipers firing on that guy. That's good. Go ahead and move that guy there. That guy goes there. Go a little bit further around. Stay out of the forest. Stay out of the forest. Okay. Move up our those guys. Um, I'm a little worried about this guy because he's probably gonna run this way, but it'll probably be okay. I lost a, quite a few men here, more than I thought I would, with as much cover as they have, as quickly as they've lost them. It seems like a few more losses than they should have had in that amount of time. Okay, so these guys just need to fire at that guy now. Wow. He, Hescock is going to get wrecked there, I think. Okay. So they have a lot of guys forward, but this guy's back, of course. There's got to be one guy that they hold back. And that makes it really hard for me to, you know, take advantage of this whole situation. Never seen them go that aggressive that direction that I can remember. I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure it happens, but it just doesn't happen very often. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, fall this way. 
We need to get eyesight on guys over the top of this ridge here, and it's really hard to do. I'm not going to lie. It is... You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna fall back this way? Even going around, my guy. Really? You can't just fall back the direction of your lines? Seriously? Now he's gonna like go over here and then reform and then come back this way. I'm gonna be like, what are you doing? He's on freaking drugs, is what he's doing. Okay, that guy needs to keep on Hescock there, because, I mean, artillery in the open. You got to take advantage of that. You can't, you can't just allow that to continue. Okay, we don't need to run now. Oh, what I didn't look at was whether or not this artillery was one of the further artilleries or not. Let's look. The furthest artillery's name is Newell. So that is the second one, but not the first one. So we still need to get back to, there's still one somewhere in this general area, most likely, um, at least one, most likely more. There, There's the shots coming from like right in here somewhere, I think. There's that guy running out. <laughs> yep, so that guy now flanks my guy over here. Lovely. That seems fair. That he could just, you know, fall back and flank me. Like, by falling back in the wrong direction. That seems 100% fair. Not broken in the least. Yep, that guy needs to get shot, obviously. So we're going to shoot him, whether he likes it or not. Yep. There we go. That's better. Okay. So. These guys are charging because they know that these guys saw them. So. Let's go ahead and get. There's a. Looks like there's an artillery unit somewhere like right here maybe. Which could be a good one to take advantage of. Looks like they're all falling back and leaving their artillery exposed there, which is awfully nice of them. And this guy's being an idiot, which is fine. Like, I'm okay with that. I would like to do this, though. Can I do that? Will you let me do that? Is that something that you're okay with? Letting me shoot that guy. Okay, it looks like he is marching that way. That's good. That's what we want. Okay, these guys go here. We have to make sure and continuously push back their um, their uh, cavalry that are going to be in here. We need to get we need to get on that at some point. My guess is that they're going to be like right here in like half a second, so we gotta be careful about that. Let's go ahead and have him shoot them. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, this guy needs to run. Did they fire at them? Nice. Perfect shot there, guys. Great job. This guy needs to run. These guys need to, you know, pick their targets a little better. Like, shoot at the guy that's actually still charging at you, kind of thing. But that's okay. Okay. I mean, it looks like they're going to get pretty beat up here. It looks like they're still coming in. That one unit was. No, they're backing off now. Come on. Give them a good shot or two. Doesn't look like they're going to, though. Okay. We got to keep moving forward, though. 
This guy needs to not move forward anymore, actually. Newell, there's Newell. Okay. So we break off a skirmisher, go like that. Get this guy to go like that. See if we can get him to route before we take another hit. Okay, let's get that guy going that way. Well, guys, I will see you guys back in the next episode. You guys have a good one. Stay safe out there. Keep your infantry in the front.